Discover the fascinating world extrusion blow molding machines. Extrusion blow molding, a cutting edge manufacturing process, creates a wide range of hollow containers. Imagine producing bottles, peat handleware, polycarbonate containers, handleware containers, farmer articles, stackable canisters, drums, IBC container, technical parts, and so much more. Let's take a closer look at the key components of an extrusion blow molding machine. The extruder. This is where plastic pellets are melted and extruded. Various plastic materials, such as HEP, PEEP, PET, and more, are carefully fed into the extruder. Heating elements ensure that the material reaches the perfect melting point. The extruder screw pushes the molten plastic through the barrel while maintaining the ideal temperature. Moving on to the extrusion head, this is where the magic happens. The molten plastic enters the extrusion head and then flows and splits into the mandrels. As the molten plastic flows over the mandrels, it takes shape and forms a hollow tube or parison. Thanks to the wall thickness control, the thickness of the parison is regulated by adjusting the distance between the die and pin. It takes center stage, ensuring the perfect thickness of plastic in every inch of your container. A key component in this system is the adjustable die. It holds the power to shape and distribute the thickness of the extruded parison. It's adjustable, allowing for that meticulous fine tuning of the wall thickness. By increasing the wall thickness in the head and bottom regions, we enhance the stability of the article while saving material in the central area. This not only improves performance, but also makes the blow molding process more cost effective. So, whether you're producing hollow plastic containers, the wall thickness control system is the hero behind the scenes. For maximum productivity, some machines employ a twin station setup, allowing for double the output. Now, let's explore what happens after the mold closes. Compressed air is used to inflate the parisons through the blow pins. This causes the plastic to expand and take on the shape of the mold. Through the water cooling of both mold halves, the article sets and solidifies immediately. The punching device ensures the removal of any excess material around the neck and bottom areas. Embracing the circular economy, our process reuses process flash and incorporates post-consumer recycled material.